Hello everyone, welcome back to Technical Portal YouTube channel on a new video of a whole new series that is called Microsoft Excel VBA Short Cheat Code Series. So friends, if you are following my VBA series, then you are definitely be able to read and write codes in VBE that is Visual Basic Editor. So I have started this series only for you where I will show you some short cheat codes that you can simply just copy and make it use in your codes and I'll also describe you the functionalities of these codes so that you can know it deeply and make it use instantly in your codes. And today in this first video of this series we are gonna how to hide all but the active worksheet in just a simple click. To learn more about this code watch this video till the end. So let's begin. At first in your Microsoft Excel workbook open a new workbook go to the developer tab from here then click on visual basics or you can directly click on alt and f11 key from your keyboard to get into it so i'm clicking on it then here after opening the vbe that is visual basic editor go to the insert tab here you can find module insert a new module here so here we have to write the code so what we will write we are gonna write the code to hide all but the active worksheet so at first you know that we have to start with sub don't worry about whether to type in capital or small letters you can type in any letters but after that when you hit enter button the Microsoft Excel VBE will automatically adjust it so here at first sub then we have to give our this subject name that we will give our name as hide worksheet then simply open and close the bracket and hit enter button look at here you can see here the s has been capitalized and in sub has been entered automatically so here we have to type then dim dim then ws that means the worksheet and it is our variable then we have to select as then you have to select worksheet from the drop down menu here you can see it then when the worksheet is highlighted you can press the tab button to enter it automatically right then hit the enter button here you have to type like this for each ws in this workbook dot worksheets you can also press tab to autofill it then hit the enter button again look at here each contains are automatically capitalizing then again type if ws dot here you have to select name press tab button here put a space then give this symbol that is greater than and lesser than indicators then type this work book dot here you have to select active sheet a c t i v active sheet this one press the tab button again then full stop then you have to type name here you have to apply a condition by typing then hit enter then you have to write w s dot here you have to select visible press on tab button equals to you have to select excel sheet hidden the first option press the tab button to automatically fill this hit the enter button then you have to type end if to give the command of your condition hit enter then type next ws that means the worksheet you may hit enter or not right then save it remember to save this workbook as macro enabled workbook as i am typing here the c sheet name suppose i am giving name the abcd and here save as type you have to select the excel macro enabled workbook otherwise your whole work 
will be destroyed then save it now there is three ways to run this code you can click on this button that is green play button then you can go to the run and then click on this one but as I am showing you this so I am going directly in that workbook here here you can see that sheet 1 sheet 2 and sheet 3 are present here I can type anything in this sheet like this and then if I run that macro here you can see that hide worksheet what we have created at this time select that VBA code macro then hit on run and you can see here that the all sheets will be disappeared moreover you can unhide those by clicking on unhide and I will show you more codes in my next videos so make sure to subscribe this channel and press the bell icon to get all notification from my channel and I'll give you the link of this workbook where you can download it and copy the code directly from this one to your micro enabled workbook so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video if you like this video please give a thumbs up share this video with your friends share your opinion as well as your queries in the comment section keep learning keep supporting this channel and keep practicing I'll come back soon with the next part of this video